Hello, and welcome to Wild McLean's Tech Tip Videos. Today, we will be taking a look at the Ultra Series 1 and 2 Control Upgrade Kit. This is a significant repair, so we are breaking it up into four videos. And this first video details the removal of the components. Okay, we'll shut off power. Remove our electrical cover off the back of the boiler. And then we'll remove the four Phillips head screws. Hold our front arm. And then we'll remove the front plastic. Then we're going to want to remove our temperature pressure gauge so we can pull the retaining clip off the temperature probe. All right, and then we're going to remove the opposite end of the pressure gauge from the check valve assembly. And this allows us to pull the pressure temperature gauge of the boiler. With a 5 16th nut driver, we'll remove the two nuts that hold the display in place. Display ribbon. Two power wires. And now that we're disconnected from the power switch and the display, we can remove the four 316 screws that hold the display board to the display bracket. And remove the display and discard. All right, next we're gonna remove the transformer and the MCBA control. We'll start by taking the wiring harness off the transformer, removing the fastening screws, sliding it forward and taking it out of the boiler. We'll remove the wiring harnesses from the MCBA control. Don't forget the ignition wire in the back. And then this too will move slide forward on the oil bracket and out of the boiler. All right, now we'll need to remove our high and low voltage harnesses from inside the boiler. We are going to remove the harness from the electrical outlet, the high voltage from the blower, and the low voltage from the blower, the gas valve plug. The return temperature sensor, the flu temperature sensor, and the supply temperature sensor. And then these will come back up through the top of the boiler. Now we're going to remove the back plastic, which is going to require taking out four screws. The screw, 
this one and then in the back there's two more These are the two screws that are holding the plastic in. And you can just leave them in the hole until you lift the plastic off. Then we have the two outer screws of each terminal strip. Start the terminal strips inside the plastic. And 